Disclaimers! As you just saw, I'm obviously a witch. I'm probably going to cuss a lot in this video, so if you're not into that, you should probably get out before it's too fucking late. It is now too fucking late! I can't actually apparate yet, that was movie magic. I know I'm wearing Gryffindor, shut the fuck up! My friend gave it to me and I love it! Let's not be too surprised about this. I mean, after all, can you really make a response to an Emma Blackery video without crazy hair? That's not the reason. I'll tell you guys why next time I chill vlog. So! A long fucking time ago, but I only just found it, so shut up! Fellow Potterhead Emma Blackery made a video on her side channel called A Slytherin Speaks in which she defended her scaly little green and silver house friends. And I love the video. I mean, I think it's main channel material, personally, but... As a Hufflepuff, there was one part. Your best friend lies to you and tells you you don't look fat in that dress. Chances are she's a fucking Hufflepuff, I'm serious. I know that was for comedic purposes and Emma doesn't actually hate Hufflepuffs. Probably. Opinion! Okay, I'm not gonna challenge the idea that Slytherins are by far the most misunderstood house. I mean, everyone thinks they're fucking evil, that's gotta be rough. But let me tell you, it is not easy being black and yellow, and this is why. When you are a Hufflepuff, you become the scapegoat for idiocy. Gryffindors, right, they're all brave and high and mighty, and they're obviously not gonna be doing anything wrong or stupid, right? And Ravenclaws are too busy with their books, and Slytherins are all cunning and shit, so they're gonna be all clever. But if you're a Hufflepuff, of course people think you're the one telling your friend she looks fat in that dress. What even is a Hufflepuff, right? I have to admit, I never really understood the confusion about what Hufflepuffs are about in the first place. I mean, sure, it's led to some good jokes. I must admit, I did doubt my identity a little bit when I realized I wasn't that good of a finder. But like it says in the song, you might belong in Hufflepuff where they are just and loyal, those patient Hufflepuffs are true and unafraid of toil. We are patient, we are loyal, we will wait for you, we are your friends, we're your buddies, we're that older sister that you can come cry on the shoulder of and won't like push you away because you're ruining her swag or whatever. Why is that so lame? There's nothing about Hufflepuff that implies that we're potatoes, okay? I may be a derb on legs, but that's not because I'm a Hufflepuff, that's because I'm me. If you want to know what Hufflepuff's all about, let's go back to the dress example, okay? If we are your friend, we want to help you, and we're Hufflepuffs, so we're probably your friend. That means that if you fucking love that dress and you come out wanting us to tell you it's great, we are not gonna rain on your parade because you wanna wear that dress and you're gonna be happy and you're gonna think you look awesome and no one else is going to, but they're not gonna care, they're gonna forget about it in a few days. You're not gonna know, it doesn't matter. We just want you to be happy. But on the other hand, if you come out like, okay, be honest. We're gonna tell you, we're just not gonna projectile vomit something really harsh into your face. Yeah, that one doesn't quite suit you. Just keep looking, okay? We just want you to be happy. <laughs> and I can just bake a cake of rainbows and smiles and we can all eat it and be happy. <laughs> She's a muggle! She doesn't even go here! Do you fucking mind? In conclusion, Hufflepuffs are pretty fucking great and we ain't your bitch. Bye. Hufflepuff Badger really care about you. Hufflepuff Badger really give a shit. Ahaha. <laughs> I am literally a chicken. I can't move my arms past this point.